so it turns out all of Hi. these hey floofty all of these letter things are completely optional they don't matter to literally anything besides you just getting things for your house and i am perfectly fine with what i have i think i have quite a few good things oh i can't put him on there but yeah, I have, I have quite a few good things here that I'm I'm pretty content with. I like that I have a bed here. I like that it's a hammock. I have all of these all of these beds that I could have if I wanted. But I like the hammock. I like the flooring out. I like the walls. I like the stuff. So I am I'm actually content with my house. And yeah, we don't we, we don't have to worry about it. This is all set up. I got this room. It'd be nice if there was like some different walls or something of the sort for plants and stuff. But whatever. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to tackle what I believe is the DLC island. Because we How's still have... Did I call you Floofty earlier? I think so, yeah. But... Jeez. Yeah, we still got stuff going on. Well met. What the hell is this? What the hell? Seismic meter is acting strangely. When conditions are just right, a major geological event is likely to happen. Complete all main quests and Frosted Peaks. Complete all of Chandler side quests. Complete all of Snorpy side quests. Uh. Be well. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna talk to people and see if they'll go. And as you see, some people have changed. I've been cramming them full of bug snacks. Oh, you better believe I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. Perfect. Thank you, Triffany. Floofty, want to hmm. join? So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean. Unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. I will gather my equipment. Excellent. Floofty is in. Now, what about the great, the magnificent Shelda? Who it looks like she's fully transformed now. Want to join? You're asking me? Yep. <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. <laughs> if it's oh. what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. All right. So that's that. And now we need to meet Snorpy in the Simmering Springs. Which isn't quite where we need to go. We need to collect ten hats. That's another thing that I wish to do at some point. But that's... As I see him pop up, I'll take care of him. But there is... There is a bug snacks somewhere in Boiling Bay that has a hat. Ooh. <laughs> and then we can just head right back to Simmering Springs. But yeah, we've uh, we've been doing okay. We've been doing okay here so far. Now, look for the hats. No. None of them. What about you? No, not an opera. Not the uh, not the soda can. you. Not a Queevil. Maybe the Palatos in here? No. Um, it wouldn't be the, uh, wouldn't be this Binopper, would it? Can't tell. I don't think so, though. Oh, watch out for that Palatos. Who has a hat? Does anyone here have a hat? It doesn't look like it. Also, I open up that. You pressed that one. And then that one. And then that one. And then that one. 
And it opened that up, which brings you straight to, uh, what is it called? Desert. You don't have a hat. No. Well, shit. Valley Toss doesn't have one. This doesn't, uh... <gasps> there he is. There he is. That is our hat. Plus, I need to just catch some peoples. There we go. Crapple. Crapple. Okay. Dump this down. Right about there. Catch this guy. And then we're going over to the beach. Okay. We're good. We got the hat. We got another Sodi. I'm sure there's going to be new bug snacks on this island that we can capture and do fun things with. This is great DLC that we can do before we complete the game. I'm kind of curious what happens to the people that did complete the game and this DLC came out. I don't know when it came out. I have quite literally no idea. Alright, folks. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, what's up, man? Alright, so are you all changed? I think so, yes. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ah, so soon. We're not quite ready. Uh, we could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. <sighs> of course, Chandler. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandler. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Ah, oh, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelda. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. <laughs> One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. Oh, fuck. No, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring ruin to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh and blood. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home? Which one? Uh... We're all going. Me and Snorpy can hold it together. Actually, Chandlo, uh, well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro, why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, uh, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap come on snorp dog it's probably fine look i gotta go out there they need me yes somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian shut it you can go if you must chandlu but i'm staying here but bro we do everything together what if something happens to you while i'm gone me well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes. You can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Whoa. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. And I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! 
Look at you. Bro, I'll let you do the honors. Just jump on the raft when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Whoa, broke a tooth. Brand new island with, I think, 10 bug snacks or so, give or take. And, uh, we'll try and catch all of them. Whoa. All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandler, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. No, no. I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Do we need to light that thing up? I'm on it. I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it. Yep. <laughs> Last one across is a rotten angler. Oh, they're they're not even coming. They're just staying down there. That's fine. Well, would you uh, look at that? Some kind of ancient maze carving, with moving parts and everything. <gasps> well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chenlo, you excel in brute force. Destroy this. You got it, Floof Dog! Call me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Now hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is gonna happen. Way ahead of you, just let me do it. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, you can make it. Good job, Strabby. Can you make that? Oh, my good boy. Goodness. That mechanism still works after all this time? Not to mention the water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there? Hey, buddy. Good job. I see bug snacks. Oh. Oh my god. That's huge. Takata Masala. Oh my god. It hates Agabelle. Why does it hate Agabelle? <gasps> Bunger Royale. Oh my goodness. Oh my word, they're huge. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! It's a jungle out there! Oh goodness. To think that this whole valley was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! 
Nick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Uh, recenter. Five minutes in, and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the protective members of society, then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's bunger time! Bunger, 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 bunger. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chenlo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh, dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> I also see that. I don't like that. A spider. Ugh. Pulls a spray in with, with the canopy. Into the canopy with its noodles. It loves cheese. Ugh. I don't like him. Alright, Chandlow. I guess... We got bunger time. Can I crawl through here? No, but I can... Ah! Oh. Forced me down here. This bunger is beautiful. He has tater tots for legs. Is it just me? Or is that bunger way big? Bro! How do I catch you? There's always a bigger bunger. Chandlo? Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my this? bones! Where am I? I hit some kind of statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is, but try. Th Whoa! Bunker, it's bunker, bunker. Oh. Stopped being big! I bet it's small enough to catch now! Oh. Oh. Okay, so these things are scattered around. Alright, bro. You got bunger, I got hunger. Now bunger me, bro! Oh man, of course everybody that came along with me, they're already all transformed. That's disappointing. Bunger. Well, bunger Royale. Let's go. Uh, where do we want it? Your... Oh. I think just head. Whoa! Whoa. That looks so like a good bunger. Good. That's a whole meal in one bite! We gotta tell the others about this. Plus, I should probably help unpack. Bunger, 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 Did bunger, you bunger. See that? Giant bug snacks! Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean. Uh huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big, friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh, no. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature. Whoa. Shelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, but why would Mother Nature, no to despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite. Silence, you wretch! The mother guides! The mother protects! If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy! Okay, then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. 
Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. <laughs> my goodness, everybody is arguing all the time. All the time. I gotta go catch this bunger again. Because I have to donate him. Yay. Bunger. Delicious. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. I wanted to have another Bunger Royale with me to donate because that's going to be important. I never even noticed all these different huts set up. Who do I want to help first? Who do I like li like the least? Shelda. Hi. One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the ravages of time. One can see it up along the river's path. That is the place we must meet. However, the shrine is beyond one's reach. Yet again, you must remove an obstacle that shrouds the path. <laughs> okay. Destroy the obstacle in the river. Ah. Oh. Bunger. If I had to guess, probably a bunger. Get him to tackle the door or something. Hmm. How do you work? Ha! Oh. Okay. Cool. Not going through there just yet, I don't think. I think I need to get that bunger to get him to charge at the door. So that means we have to go back and go to sleep. Damn it. <laughs> my greed for catching the bunger was my undoing. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to bed. Hopefully stop the rain, too. Because I don't want to deal with the rain. <gasps> How's that? Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Oh. Milimochi. Okay. Wait a second. Where does this even go? Put a trap here just in case, but... Shelda, I did a thing. That's... I was just... doing that... out of curiosity. 
the past once more revealed, and yet no less treacherous. One's heart is filled with dread for the truths yet unknown within the River Shrine. Nevertheless, we must push forward. <laughs> Shelda talks too much. Shelda talks way too damn much. There's a lot of mumbo jumbo stuff that doesn't matter to anything. Uh oh. Did not have enough forward momentum. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, Shelda. I don't know if this is gonna reach. Okay. Uno. Dos. Test door. And test a bridge. Look at that, I did everything all by myself. And I didn't even have to talk to Sheldy yet. I wanna crawl through there. I wanna... <gasps> oh. Okay, so he's just going. Okay. I will do my best to catch him. He's coming back. Give me this. Huh. Huh. Oh. All right, Strabby. Yeah, <gasps> Jet Orb. It's a cheese ball. Oh my God. It's a cheese ball. Holy shit! All right. Ooh, thanks for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Yes. Oh, the front entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, can you please open it for me? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I had some uh, junior mints by me that looked really delicious. How in the world do I get in there? Well, I'd be able to I'd be able to just bring myself over there if I can. Hmm. Because I would like to just catch him right now. And not even have to worry about it. So. No. I don't want to try to lure him over. Just going to put that out here. Okay. Let's see if this works. Will that be enough? Absolutely. I can 100% catch this song bitch now. <laughs> 